Hi guys and welcome to our YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about the reuse of costumes and clothing. So stay tuned and I'll tell you the story behind this picture. Well welcome back and what I'm going to talk to you about today is the reuse of costumes and clothing. Now in this photograph here of actor model April Scott I kind of created an idea that she would be the singer with a microphone and a microphone stand in this fabulous cat suit. Now you may have seen this cat suit before on Claudia Christina and I shot that with a black background with some side light, some color side light. This time I needed to make it completely different because I'm using the same cat suit again and I didn't want it to look like I was just doing the same thing over and over and over for everybody. Now that's the thing that I really want to mention to you guys about the use and reuse of costumes and clothing is that if you overuse them, kind of give the illusion you don't have very many ideas. Uh, same thing goes with backgrounds and locations. If you keep using the same thing over and over, people will see this and they think you don't have a very big imagination. So when you do reuse, a costume or some clothing or even props you want to create a whole different look and that's what I did here. Now if you look at the one with Claudia in you can see as I said it's black background with the side light whereas the one with April Scott is my standard white background with actually a ring light lighting up the front of her. You can see that it looks completely different when you want to reuse some of the same things, try to make your images look completely different. Now what I do is I find things I like to use and I incorporate those into my shoots and the other things I do is when I'm shooting a catalog either for uh, the latest clothing or maybe even a costume thing like a Halloween costume catalog I usually discuss with a client whether I can actually get some clothes that I can use on new projects that I'm going to do or even some of my own personal projects. So that's basically what we're talking about. We're talking about making a collection of things because the majority of times when models show up to do shoots with me if it's not an assignment for a clothing manufacturer or for a costume manufacturer. They bring their own clothes and sometimes their clothes are just not that cool, not that hip. Now, I'm not saying that everybody doesn't bring great stuff. I'm just saying that it's nice to have a collection of your own things so that you can rely on making something happen in a shot simply because you can go to your wardrobe or go to your collection and get something out of there and add it to your shot to really pull the whole thing together. That's how I get to stand out over and above some of the other photographers because I have a great collection of clothing. I also have a really great collection of backdrops and other various different things including locations and that helps my brilliant ideas come to life for either a client that is looking for me to invent something for them or just for my own projects. So if you like that story you might want to pop over to my website andrefelixphoto.com and check out my blog. I've got lots of interesting things on there that will help inspire you to do some of your projects for yourself. Uh, I also have a PDF of a book which has a lot of diagrams in it and some tips and tricks. That will also help inspire you and maybe you can even take an idea directly out of my book. You can also follow me on Instagram and I'm always uh, interested to hear from you so leave a comment, let me know what you think and uh, if you subscribe thank you very much if you haven't I think it's about time you subscribed and all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now. Thank you.